In this robotic competition, our challenge is to launch ping pong balls at a target for a short interval of time. We'll use these slingshots as inspiration for a simple design which could be economical and effective. Launching from a barrel would increase the accuracy of the launch and instead of using uh, rubber bands, let's use extension springs to provide the uh, launching power. So let's go ahead and begin to assemble the components we need in Solid Edge. I've already opened up the assembly where we already have the frame for the first robotics competition and I've already assembled the launch chamber weldment to some mounting brackets that allows us to change the angle of trajectory. For now we'll hide the first robotics frame by just simply changing the configuration and then we'll go ahead and begin to assemble the components we need. The first thing we'll add is the launch plunger and put that inside the launch chamber. We do that by simply aligning the cylinders that's backwards, so we'll just click the flip button and then we'll just align one side of the plunger to the chamber, the inside of the chamber. And so now it has the freedom to move in and out and that's the only degree of freedom it has and if we drag this component you can see that currently there's nothing limiting the travel of that. And in fact that pin is actually going to ride inside of the slot. So let's go ahead and add an assembly relationship use a path relationships in Solid Edge which allows us to align the cylinder center line with a sketch that is the sketch for the uh, for the slot and that slot is in the launch chamber so now if we drag that you can see that I'm limited to just the length of that slot for that plunger to travel which is exactly how it would work as I mentioned we're going to use springs to tie these together so the first thing I need to do is add uh, another uh, pin assembly for the springs to attach to and we'll just simply place that in the hole and then we also want to center it. We'll use the center plane relationship using the double option. So the first thing we'll do is find the center plane between two faces of the pin and then find two faces of those mounting ears and it aligns those two center planes to keep it centered. Now the only degree of freedom it has is to rotate which is fine. The next thing we want to do is add our extension springs. Now these springs were already created as adjustable assemblies in Solid Edge. So when we bring this in you're going to see that it's asking us if we want to place it adjustable and of course we do. And what controls the length of the spring is a distance. So we use the distance between two points and we'll pick up the center point of the first pin and the center point of the second pin and that is determining the length of that spring. Now that we have the length set, we simply align the center lines of the ends of the spring with the pins. And it is the correct length. Now the only other thing we'll do is we'll add a tangent relationship between the diameter of the end of the spring and the, uh, the cotter pin so that it's trapped between those two pins. And of course we need a second spring on the other side to keep a nice even pull on this uh, as it launches the ping pong ball. So we'll add another adjustable part. And I've done this ahead of time. So when I created these springs, I set an adjustability to be between the two lengths of those uh, ends of the springs. And that's how it's going to adjust. And so I have to set the length of the spring based on the distance between those two pins. And then again, we'll just assemble it, aligning the uh, center lines of the ends of the spring with the pins. And then, of course, uh, left to right, we'll add that tangent relationship to the cotter pin that holds it in place. Perfect. All right, now, if I drag the plunger again with its limited travel, you can see that when it's in the full back position, the length of the spring will increase. And when I drag it all the way to the front position, that is uh, when the spring is retracted. And you can see how that spring adjusts to the different positions that I place it based on that adjustable part. <laughs>